First, go across to uh, CNN correspondent Rafael Romo, who's now joining us live from Tel Aviv. Uh, the first things first, tell us a little bit more about this wartime cabinet, this na new national unity government. How has it come about and what was the need for it? Well, what happens here is that uh, the uh, the most influential uh, political leaders uh, here in uh, Israel have come together to come up with a plan so that the government can continue to function and focus on the main priority for Israel right now, which is to focus on the war and what Israel needs to do to make sure that they decimate Hamas, especially its military arm. And there will be uh, no changes to law, no new laws will be approved, and that is the focus right now. How can they work together? Because as you know, especially over the last few months with the protests against the judicial reform and, and uh, the protests against the government, it was uh, the, the government at times appears, appeared to be paralyzed. So no more of that. It's a government that's going to unify be behind one single goal, which is to act against Hamas and what's going to happen to especially their military arm in the, the near future. And as you said, the uh, military, the Israeli military appears to be getting ready for a ground incursion in Gaza with as many as 300,000 uh, members of its military and also reservists who are getting ready for what appears to be that, what you just described, uh, going it, it, it by ground and trying to capture the, the last remaining forces of Hamas within in Gaza. Quickly, uh, Rafael, there's been a lot of back and forth, a lot of confusion around this assertion, this claim, which initially started off in Israeli media reports, that babies were killed. Uh, subsequently, we've seen tweets even from the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu showing a blood-stained crib. Uh, is there any clarity on that? Yeah, that is true, and, and this is actually very difficult to talk about, but the Israeli military uh, said that at least in one location that they've been able to, to go to, they have found evidence that indeed, like you said, babies were decapitated, and in a phone call that uh, between, between Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and President Biden, uh, Biden the, the footage was made available uh, by uh, the Israeli government. Uh, Netanyahu said that this can only be compared to what happened in the Holocaust. Uh, he said that not only grown men, but also women and children were massacred, were murdered. He was talking about all kinds of atrocities committed by the Hamas militants. And as mm -hmm. you can imagine, there's a lot of outrage, anger in Israel about what happened. And that's the reason why you see the focus, the, the, the mission that it is to decimate, to annihilate Hamas militants. And the reason why you see 300,000 uh, members of Israel's military amass uh, all of the military equipment, tanks and armored vehicles getting ready for that, uh, what appears to be a ground operation in the next few hours or days. Uh, um, Rafael Romo, many thanks for joining us, CNN correspondent live for us tonight from Tel Aviv.